What's up guys, welcome back, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, um, we're gonna be showing you guys finally some updates on the E91 M3. There's been a lot of stuff that I've been doing on the E91 M3 behind the scenes, but I didn't really get enough done to the point where I wanted to make a complete video, but now that I actually have so many little things done to the E91 M3 that it, once you compile it all together, it is a good enough video, I wanna go ahead and drop it all up in this video, mainly because again, it's a lot of updates, it's all over the place, I'm gonna go ahead and narrate over this. I do have a complete video on the E90 M3, so we do have a major update on this car, we also have a major update on the 328. I have videos on both of those cars. I've been literally grinding, trying to get as much videos out. And again, I'm trying to knock out as much things as possible before the end of this year. You guys know the goal is getting that Audi R8. But at the same time, I'm trying to get as much things done on the E91 M3 in the background as possible. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what we actually started doing to the engine bay. We started adding a couple more things and then we actually started removing the, the, the finishing touches, honestly, on the E90 M3. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and hop into that. And at this point, guys, we are finally getting some headliner stuff done to the E91 M3. So um, the headliner was pretty much sagging. It was gray. All the pieces were gray. And to find all these pieces in like black or the headliner in black. First off, that black headliner is so, so, so hard to find, let alone the, the size of it probably super expensive to ship. So I decided, you know what, let's just get that all redone in suede. I think it's going to look super sick, especially with the black interior. Or if we go with black and gray or black and red or whatever it may be, it's going to end up looking a lot better in black. So we got this stuff done by legendary rap shout out to them for coming over to my place and getting it done at my place because that headliner was really big and i didn't think i can actually take it anywhere um so that worked out perfectly we got this headliner squared away i'm gonna let you guys see the results but yeah they did an incredible job and it took an entire day to get this stuff done As you guys can see, it came out so beautifully. It looks absolutely amazing. I'm super happy that we actually went with suede. It looks so good. Um, but the next thing we actually end up getting done with legendary wraps is this beautiful center console trim. This center console trim is super hard to find. I had to purchase this thing off eBay and it was listed in some really weird place in eBay um, under some like weird category, but I found it. It is a manual center console trim plus a CIC cutout. That is super hard to find. I bet anyone, if you guys can actually find this and send me a link i will literally send you guys something because it is super hard to find i couldn't find a single used one anywhere obviously bmw had it obviously you can buy it new but i was like you know what let's just go ahead and just get it redone in carbon fiber because the one i picked up was really beat up and that's the reason why um i guess it was just still on ebay um so i picked it up and we just got it redone completely in carbon fiber and now it looks factory new and it looks beautiful with the carbon fiber you guys about to see the finished results but shout out to them for even videotaping all of this and showing you guys the process um so again shout out to legendary raps for coming by this video is like literally um, just a collaboration with them because uh, they did amazing work.
And just like that, guys, we are at the end of the video. And uh, as you guys can see, we got a lot of stuff done. We got the custom trim done on the E91 M3. I've never actually done carbon fiber center console trim because mainly it's kind of expensive. And it was still kind of expensive, but at the same time, it's still kind of cool. You guys know I'm trying to build a one of one E91 M3, and I want it to be the sickest E91 M3 on the internet. And I think that center console trim piece, it's the same color on every M3. It only comes in black leather wrapped. And I was like, you know what? I have the black leather carbon that the car came with from factory so i was like how cool would it be to match that but at least you know some gloss carbon in the center console i thought it was gonna be pretty cool and you know what guys it came out pretty amazing here is the trim piece fully assembled you guys can see with the iDrive controller in there good fitment we got all the buttons over there perfect buttons this took me some time guys to get perfect buttons because the ones that came on my car were destroyed as you guys can see this thing just looks stunning this is just one of the details we're gonna be putting into the e91 m3 and i am just super stoked for it and the other piece is just sit right over here, the suede headliner for the E91 M3. Guys, again, we're gonna be going above and beyond on this build and I am just super stoked for it. Hopefully in the next video, guys, I'm gonna be showing you guys all the wiring that goes down on the E91 M3 and hopefully getting some power to this car as soon as possible. I want it to be a rolling chassis. I want it to at least have some power. and be, I want it to actually slap in the engine and transmission as soon as possible. We're getting so, so, so close to seeing this car become a reality. Honestly, the undercarriage was the toughest part, getting everything routed. And now, guys, we are getting so close to throwing power into this car, getting an engine in there. It's a good videos are coming soon so if you guys are excited for that make sure to smash that like button i know i'm excited and i cannot wait to have an e91 m3 driving on public streets so if you guys can do me a favor just smash that like button i'm actually gonna head out right now edit this video and go back and start working on the wiring some more that wiring is taking way too long but once we get it all sorted it's gonna be super awesome without further ado guys i love y'all so much remember to stay humble. i'll see y'all on the next one peace out